this little get up here it's like a hood so I've tied one side through this strap and another side through this strap it's just caused this gives a bit of a a hood sort of like um, so what I do is when I get too hot or if I'm in the sun for long periods of time let's put this over my head yeah, the main point today is um, it's a foraging exercise and uh, I'm out surveying the area training keeping up the skills doing plant ID and uh, picking up some bits and bats along the way. I'm going to do some modifications to the scrammer and uh, show you guys around. See you in a short while. Now this fiddle head fern could be mistaken for an ostrich fern, however it's not. This is very furry, uh, as you can see. This one's called the cinnamon fern. These are toxic. The ostrich fern has a gold crisp around it. These are hairy, and what I say is, if it's hairy, it's scary, so stay away. So a great source of nutrients are these nettles. These are young, so they're not prone to stinging, and they're young like this. You've still got to be careful though, to some degree. So I found a little place here and um, it's the duff is about yee thick so what I'm going to need to do is clear away the duff make sure I'm down to the dirt uh, get a little fire going so I can get this rice on then start to add some of the other ingredients let's make a decent digging stick with this baby guys you put it on your thumb there just roll it round, grab the base of the chopper, as you can see, it gives me plenty of flexibility. When you grab the base there like that, it gives you more power at this part, the chopping part. So, go and get myself some more goodies. Got ourselves some fat wood there. We'll have that. guys this might be the digging stick Not suitable here, there's too many, too many roots. Let's go down there, Patch. Guys, it's not suitable here, so I'm gonna move. There's too many roots. I don't want to uh, damage uh, the root system around here, so I'm gonna just move on and see if I can find somewhere where 
uh, it's a bit more uh, drier the bed of the ground is less rootified if that's a word let's get on with it eh? That's more like it. Right, now I need to get some logs. Uh, I need to build a base. I've got some pine pitch. You can see there in focus. See it sparkling. Yeah, you can see it sparkling there. Yeah, got some more there. Resin. Badges come in for a frontline view. Do you want to see her? There she is. She's a learning girl. I guess I'll just macerate this. It's all pretty flimsy. It'll all catch a flame because of the oil in it. mix all this up then what I want to do is I want to transfer it over yonder we we'll process some of this fat wood it's got a purpley colour to it so I've got some of that, that I'm going to use I've got some longer slithers here See, that'll give you a better... If you could see that there, that's how you know it's fat wood. So like, almost looks like it's wet, but with this, it's a, you get a definite smell with it as well. It's like a turpentine smell. Oh man, check that, you see it? That is like treacle. I'll take some of that with me because it's just like pure fat wood. Pure fat wood. That is amazing. Right. Get on with this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring you around now. I'll get the fire going. Right. I'll use my knife for this. Just that'll keep on going now. Nice and tidy. Just get that wood on. Start piling it on now. Happy days. Happy days. Now I'm having to rush this because we've got, uh, we haven't got much light left. It's starting to cast some uh, big shadows that sun and um, I've got a little toy that I want to show you. A little flymobile and I'm hoping to get some footage of the, uh, the forest without losing the actual object. So uh, I'll get on with the food and uh, we'll get to that soon hopefully. See you shortly. We'll just let that settle down a little bit. As soon as it's settled down, 
then we'll start the cooking process. Get some, uh, get some nice hot coals going. As it starts to, whew, as it starts to cool down a little bit, all the midges come out, the mozzies. So I've had to put this little baby on. I got this today. It's a little sweat rag type thing. So put it on as a little bit of a bandana. Stops, uh, stops me from getting bit into pieces. Just let me bring you over here a second, show you what I gathered today. Hopefully I can lower you down, or you can look down. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? Oh, that's good. Right, some of the things that I'll be uh, cooking are things like Nettles, these are all young nettles, young leaves, so it should be fine. And it isn't too prickly because they're all, because they're so young, all the, the spikes are uh, not as formidable as they are later on in the season. So we've got quite a bit there actually. All good stuff. Right, let's bring that rice in. It's a brip. That is right above us. Cuckoo bash. I want to do enough for me and Baggy. Can't be that for nature, can you? Look at that baby. So what I'm going to do is Chop a bit of this. I'm gonna say it was loud that wasn't it? The old cuckoo. You let that bottle wear. The fire's spot on now. Let's get the all the coals round the pot. Get it cooking quickly. One of my subscribers basically 
give me this little tool. It's a little gem. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strap it to the end of the, uh, the scabbard here. Any guesses? Well, in the Special Forces, you would use something like this if there is any barbed wire in the area, in the vicinity. Yeah, you can use it to make tinder. You can also use it for cutting snares. If there are any snares that are um, caught around an animal and causing damage and you can't get it off, you can use this type of thing to hook around the snare and cut it without damaging the, uh, the animal. Uh, I've also, uh, sometimes have concerns about little Bargy here because she, if some careless trappers are around and they forget to take their, um, the traps, they leave them abandoned, uh, the snares or anything, or they're actually waiting. So it could be that they're not actually at fault, they're waiting and I'm almost trespassing on their run, in a sense, where the animals roam. So we have to be careful. Um, and so far, everything, touch wood, uh, has been cool for Badgie. You would catch the wire in there, this little area here, and then pull. It's got like a serrated edge as well. Badgie? No, come on, mine out. It's got like a serrated edge. An excellent little tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strap that to the bottom of the uh, scram. So the first part really is quite easy. And that's putting it through, putting this loop, wrapping this loop round and over so you can, because it's elasticated, you can pull it round. And I'm going to fit it so it's in one of the these belt hooks here. What I don't want it, is it flapping around. I'm going to utilise this cordage and wrap the cordage round the back, round the back, and then wrap it round the actual scabbard itself, the sheath. I'm feeding it through there. Now this, the non-working end, I'm going to keep that down there near the bottom. Then I need a starting point. Just wrap it around and make sure it wraps around and it's even, so it's not overlapping at any point. So I'll do this and then rather than you waiting for the finished product, I'll just keep on doing this and then I'll bring you back when we're near the end and we're tying off. Now you may think, why hasn't he put it through there? It's this part. Well, this part is yeah, it opens up, so just tighten this up. So we want it to look smart. Tidy and neat. So hopefully you can see, I know the lighting's a, a bit of a problem at the moment, but hopefully you can see that properly. So what we'll do, we'll just tie that off now. So there you go. We've got some extra paracord. We've also got this tool, it's wire cutter. That will come in handy. Excellent. Stick this wooden spoon in my top pocket because last time you chewed mine up, didn't you? You know the score, girl. Right, let's 
Let's have a look, see what this is like. Yeah, that's done that. I'll give you my verdict now, guys, on this. What do you reckon? First impressions. There's not enough red in there, is there? Nice badge, but it's mm. hot, hot, hot. been emotional that's all I can say I hope you enjoyed today's episode it's a regular haunt this and uh, I've come here to basically try out my new flying machine and uh, it's worked out pretty good it's a great little toy that and I am gonna be taking it to some faraway destinations not on every trip it's quite hefty in weight and bulky you really do have to minimize what you're carrying I'm on a mission to do that anyway to get as, as light as pack as possible for each season because each season it changes so guys I really do hope you've uh, liked this episode the cured back bacon it's cooked you see so you can carry it with you for days and rice well you always need rice or a pulse or something like that Badgie is getting ever so impatient and I'm getting bit to pieces I will say ciao for now guys please like subscribe press the bell press the notification check out the description all the descriptions and stuff and the links that I'm going to put down there and leave a comment till next time take care keep safe and I'll see you on the next Hook Fin. bye for now <laughs>